Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson four, solving a linear equation. All right, so classwork exercises. These are exercises, so pause the video. See if you can do these on your own. And then when you're done, unpause the video and check to see how you did. Okay, so here we go. It says, for each problem, show your work and check that your solution is correct. One, solve the linear equation. X plus X plus 2 plus X plus 4 plus X plus 6 equals negative 28. That looks familiar. Uh, lesson 2 or lesson 1 in this module. We came up with this expression but did not solve it. So now we're going to solve it. So here's how we do it. We have an X. We have another x, we have another x, and we have another x here. So what I'm doing is I'm color coding my like terms. X's are like terms, and constants are like terms. There's a 2, there's a 4, and there is a 6. So now when I combine these, x plus x is 2x, plus another x is 3x, plus another x is 4x. 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 6 is 12, so that's plus 12, equals negative 28. So there's our simplified equation, okay, combining like terms. Okay, so now, if you remember, we have this thing that we use, SADMEP, when we have an equal sign, we use the inverse. Okay, this is seventh grade stuff. So this is the order we go when we're doing, it's PEMDAS in reverse, and we do the inverse operation. So I have multiplication, I have addition. Addition comes before multiplication, so I take care of the addition first by doing the inverse of addition, which is subtraction. So I am going to subtract 12 from the left, and what you do to the left, you must do to the right. So when I do this, 12 minus 12 is 0, and that will leave me with 4x on the left. The 12s are gone. Negative 28 minus 12 is negative 40. Now I have multiplication, so that's right here. The inverse of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide by what x is being multiplied by. What you do to one side? You do to the other. 4 divided by 4 is 1, leaving 1x, or simply x. A negative divided by a positive is negative, and 40 divided by 4 is 10. So x is 10. Now it also says to check that your solution is correct. So what I need to do is put this equation back. x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 plus x plus 6 equals negative 28. Plug in negative 10 for every x you see. Negative 10 plus negative 10. Try that again. Negative 10 plus negative 10 plus 2. Now I'm right here. Plus an x, which is negative 10, plus 4 plus an x, which is negative 10, plus 6, equals negative 28. Negative 10 plus a negative 10 is negative 20, plus 2 is negative 18, plus a negative 10 is negative 28, plus 4 is negative 24, plus a negative 10 is negative 34, plus 6 is negative 28. And that checks. Number two, solve the linear equation given. State the property that justifies your first step and why you chose it. So I'm going to rewrite the problem. Okay, and my first step is probably going to be distribution. So I want to, let me change colors here. I want to multiply this times this. I want to get rid of this uh, parentheses. 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times a positive 2 is positive 4. 
equals, and then while I'm at it, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to combine like terms. I have a 2x. I have another positive 1x. So 2x plus x is 3x. And then the minus 1 is the only constant we have, so that comes down. Okay, so now I have distributive property on the left, combining like terms on the right. Now I have 1x on each side of my equation. That's the first step. Reduce as many x's as possible. Now what I need to do is move all of my x's over to one side. So I have 6x on the left, 3x on the right. I need all of the x's on one side. So I have a positive 3x here, so I need to subtract 3x from both sides. 6x minus 3x is 3x. Bring down the plus 4. There's nothing to add to it, so it's just plus 4 equals the 3x minus 3x cancels and I'm left with negative 1. Okay, now I have sad map again. Let me write that. Some of you may help. Oops, I spelled it right. Sad map. And when we have an equal sign, we do the inverse. So in this part we have multiplication and we have addition we have addition we have multiplication do the addition first and the inverse of addition is subtraction so we're going to subtract four what you do to one side you do to the other 3x the fours cancel negative one minus four is negative five now we're going to deal with the multiplication the inverse of multiplication is division so i will divide by three Threes cancel, and x equals negative five thirds. Okay. Now I'm going to check it. So I'm going to take my original equation, two times three x plus two, and see if it equals two x minus one plus x. So I'm going to substitute in my x. I'll change it to black for that. And that is negative 5 over 3. And do not change fractions. Fractions are much easier to deal with than decimals. Equals 2 times x is 5 over 3. Minus 1. Plus 5 over 3. Okay, now we're going to simplify this mess. Well, this 3 and this 3 will cancel. So remember what PEMDAS says. When we're working on one side of an equal sign, that's PEMDAS. When we move across an equal sign, that's sad map. PEMDAS means to simplify an expression. So do what's inside the parentheses. Multiplication comes before addition. Negative, or the 3 times 1 third cancel, leaving me with negative 5 plus 2. So that's going to end up being 2. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3 equals this is 10 over 3 minus 1 which is minus 3 over 3 since they're fractions and then plus 5 over 3 so 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 equals Ten thirds minus three thirds is seven thirds plus five thirds is twelve thirds. So I don't want to do an equal sign there. This is the same as twelve over three, but twelve divided by three is four. Okay. In case you notice my um, hesitation while I was doing that, I was noticing that these were not going to come out to be equal, and I did make one small mistake. And that's why they aren't. I forgot my negative. My answer is negative 5 thirds. So I didn't put a negative in here. I put positive. So I need to change this a little. This should be a negative 10 thirds. And this should be minus 5 thirds right here. So let me fix that. That's minus 5 thirds. So now I have negative 10 over 3. Minus 3 over 3, which is negative 13 over 3. Minus 5 over 3, which is negative... 
18 over 3, which comes out to be negative 6. So it is negative 6 equal to negative 6, and therefore it does check. Okay, so I forgot my negative sign when I was checking. Number 3. Solve the linear equation. State the property to justify the first step and why you chose it. All right, so I have x minus 9 equals 3 over 5x. I'm just going to rewrite it for starters. And I'm going to move my x's to one side. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I want all of my x's on one side. And I like to keep my x's positive. So this is 1x. I can rewrite that as, since this is a denominator of 5, I can write this as 5 over 5x. Five because 5 divided by 5 is still 1. So I have 5 fifths x. So I'm going to subtract 3 fifths x from this side to bring it over here. Okay, and when I do that, 5 fifths minus 3 fifths is 2 fifths x. So I have an x and it's positive, and then I have minus 9 equals, now be careful here, 3 fifths x minus 3 fifths x is 0. Now I have sad map, I'll write that again, and that involves an equal sign going across it and we do the inverse. So we have multiplication and we have subtraction. So we do the subtraction first, and the inverse of subtraction is addition. Plus 9, what you do to one side, you must do to the other. So I'm going to bring down my 2 fifths x. Nine, negative 9 plus 9 is 0. I don't need to write that. It's just 2 fifths x. And 0 plus 9 is 9. Now, in order to get rid of a fraction, all I have to do is multiply by its reciprocal 5 halves. So the 5's cancel, the 2's cancel, and I'm left with x equals. 9 times 5 is 45 divided by 2. 45 halves or 22.5. I now need to check my work. So I write 1 third x minus 5 plus 171. I keep wanting to write 177 equals x. One third, substitute in our solution, 249 minus 5 plus 171 equals 249. This has to come out to be true or we did something wrong. So the first thing I do is try to reduce this. 3 will go into 24 8 times. 3 will go into 9 3 times. So I have 83 minus 5 plus 171 equals 249. 83 minus 5 is 78 plus 171 equals 249. And 8 plus 1 is 9. 7 plus 7 is 14. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 249 equals 249. Roger that. Okay, that is the end of lesson four. Review this lesson summary and go do your problem set.